Hey folks, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fix a booting error that one might receive when they try to launch QEMU to virtualization. Let's get started. I want to give a shout out to Profax Gaming underscore YT for bringing this to my attention. As you can see here, as I try to boot uh, the bash file, um, Rainstorm will actually crash. So we're going to be trying to look for the main causes for this right now. So the first solution is to boot back into Windows. I'm going to be using my Surface Pro and using an external display so you guys can see better. So the first thing you want to do is actually go into um, Windows um, Features and you can find that through Control Panel. Go to the search box and actually type it. Once you type it, press Enter and that should open a mini dialog box. So what you want to look for is something called Hyper-V. If it's not enabled on yours, make sure you enable it because that's actually your virtualization. So right now, I already have mine enabled and actually install the virtual uh, machine tools. So right now, I'm going to be showing you guys how those tools look like. And just boot them. You don't have to do anything. Just boot them just to make sure that they work. Because if they run, that means your virtualization is working. There's actually two of them. They are actually like uh, like environment to be able to run um, virtualization. Something similar to like VMware or VirtualBox. Uh, note if you actually do this and it crashes that means that your uh, VT dash D is not enabled or if you're using AMD your SMT mode is not enabled once you do this and it work just uh, reboot your computer and make sure you load Ubuntu Now I'm going to fast forward this, I'm going to get into Ubuntu on my Surface and I'm going to log in. Once you log in, just open the terminal and please follow these commands. They're very important. You need to have these packages in, or like uh, you won't be able to run the configuration files correctly. They might not even be able to boot or launch. If you try to install any of these and they don't um, and they don't work, Linux is gonna tell you which packages is missing. And if you can get it going. I might be able to help you in the comment section. So just follow what's on the screen right now. Yeah, if you press this and it hangs, just close it. You should see a bunch of text. So this is the main thing, this is where the main fix happen. So you're gonna get into a grow up menu, it's gonna be like a big notepad. The line that you actually want to edit. Is the um, CDM line Linux. Make sure not, not the one that's the default. Do not touch that one. Edit the one on the bottom under it. Make sure it says on. The reason why you want this on is because the grub file, every time that you reboot or you update it, it changes. So by having this, you're actually telling your operating system that that's the way you want it to boot every time. And that's how you fix the VT uh, error. 
so once you do this actually make sure you upgrade grub after you upgrade grub reboot your system and go back to the terminal now we're gonna be we're now we're gonna try to run rainstorm again for me i know i already have rainstorm installed so i'm just gonna be booting the uh, boot vm.ch file Don't mind me, I had a trouble actually holding the camera and trying to get this thing to work. Touchscreen devices, I tell you. So now there you go. No more error. Now I'm able to boot into QEMU. And now we're going to jailbreak our device. Just to ensure that the process works. As you can see right now, I have some limitation because the surface only has one USB port. And I cannot be jailbreaking my iPhone and using my keyboard at the same time. So I'm just fast forwarding the process right now. Install check rain. I had to get the Bluetooth keyboard. That way, uh, I'm not using my USB port. And I'm gonna connect the USB back on my Surface. And look at the iPhone. It turns on right away. If you're able to get uh, your USB actually showing inside QEMU, that means that uh, Rainstorm installed correctly. Now I have my iPhone working. I actually format it that way um, I'm not logged in into anything. So you can see that uh, it actually works. Now we're going to the jailbreak process. I'm actually going to show you guys another video a little better, like step by step. Again, I can only use one hand, so I had a little difficulty. I don't have a stand right now. And there you go basically check win win so thank you for watching and i hope that resolved your issue if you want more videos like this or more tutorials please share or subscribe to this video and if you have any requests on any tutorial you want me to cover just either message me or let me know in the comment section thank you